guys. Um, I'm going to share my testimony, the whole thing, the past four and a half years. I This is take like 50. I already recorded so much of it, but I'm going to try one more time and I'm going to try to get through it faster. So the rest, the, I mean, the other ones were just practice. But um, I'm really excited to share because as I was recording and like going through my testimony, I was getting wrecked and like just like it blessed me it blessed me to be recalling all the things that god has done in my life in the past few years okay so and like it really happened it's so funny because when you're in it like everything feels like it's taking so long but i just recalled the past four and a half years of my life and it i mean it just like went so fast so like the days feel like like long but then you look back and you're like holy crap like god is so good and he he moves pretty quick and oh my god i'm gonna start crying already okay so let me okay i'm not gonna cry um the point of all of this is to show you guys like what god is capable of and his actual like transformative power because who i am today was not who I was four years ago and who I will be four years from now is not who I am today. Praise God. Like he is constantly like when you surrender to him, he is constantly like improving you and taking things out that don't belong there and, and opening your eyes and taking you somewhere beautiful. That's the thing. That's what the Bible says. He, he knows the plans that he has for you. I, he, the Bible says, I know the plans that I have for you says the Lord. Like I love when the Bible says, says the Lord. Um, destruction really you don't realize it at the time you think it's normal and you're just living this life this party kind of lifestyle you think that everything's fine it's just like the norm really i grew up in catholic school um oh by the way my name's alex i'm from philly philadelphia pennsylvania born and raised in philly um now i live in florida um i just finished bible school um a few months ago and i uh my life <laughs> I want to explain to you guys like how I got here um, from from Philly. God moved me from Philly to Tennessee and then from Tennessee to Florida. And here we are. So I kind of want to explain that journey. If you've known me, if you know me from Philly, which a lot of my followers are from Philly. Um, it's interesting because even even back then, I always knew I wanted to talk to you guys like specifically. Um, I, I want to talk to everybody. But and I want to share this story with anyone who is led to it and who feels called to watch it um, for sure. But I remember specifically like when I left Philadelphia, I was like, I got to like tell them like I wanted to like, like bring everyone with me. <laughs> like that sounds crazy and not literally, but also kind of like I just because I, let me say it like this. So I grew up Catholic. Um, in Catholic school my whole life from age five to to eighteen. Um and and you know, like which is important to note because you're taking the tests about Jesus and about God and like all these things, but I didn't know like I didn't know anything. Like I didn't know anything about Jesus. I thought like I went to church maybe like Easter and Christmas, if that I just didn't have my own personal relationship with Jesus. So that's what that's what that's what they mean when they say like relationship over religion. Like you can like religion isn't going to do diddly squat like religion. You sit in a pew and then I mean, you kind of like do what you got to do and then whatever. But there's no like nothing gets into your heart nothing even gets into your mind. That's a crazy part. Like I didn't know anything. So let me, okay. So with that being said, I was living like this life really of like destruction. Okay. So since like high school, like college, like early twenties, um, just, this is so crazy because it's the norm, but it actually, why is that the norm? Like just this drinking party life, um, and it like kind of like takes you down this path. 
so for me um I drank a lot in high school and in college a lot a lot and then um later then started getting into like music festivals and started dabbling in drugs um early 20s got hooked on cocaine and um really was like and like that was me being like me doing coke like that was me being like responsible like that was me um that was my way of staying in control like i that's why i was like obsessed with cocaine for years because i started hating how alcohol made me feel like out of control so but i would just like spiral like i was just in this cycle of like i don't even like this i remember being younger and feeling like I was like betraying myself drinking because everyone else wanted me to and feeling like I don't even want to do this. I don't want to go out. I don't want to drink till I'm sick, do something I regret, wake up the next day, hate myself, then eat like terribly, hate myself, not be able to go to the gym because I'm like dying. Like my hangovers were so bad and they got worse and worse as the years went on. And I remember like feeling trapped in that pressure, that like peer pressure of like, you you just like can't get out of it like and I also remember feeling like I needed to like I wanted to go out to be like a good friend like I wanted to be the one that everyone depended on um like Alex is down for anything she's willing to like travel anywhere go anywhere she's always down like I would stay out for days on like benders um I didn't care because I was like priority it wasn't even that fun to me but like there was there were certain things certain voids that it was filling um, that were like temporary like fixes for me um, like the whole like like the image of like having fun and like being cool um, and like being like always doing something always like being there for people always coming through like the dependable fun one who's always down that really hooked me um, so but I but I remember like I hated drinking but I would like just keep doing it so weird and I hated what it was doing to me. And um, so from basically from the years of like 2014 to, well, okay, so that's after high school. I graduated high school in 2012. So after high school, 20, I like this because I like the five-year chunks. That's kind of what I discovered earlier today. So I've been saved for this summer will be five years since like I started really this like walk, um, this faith walk. So five years before that was 2014 to 2019. And this was like the worst of it, basically. Um, like just like kind of like growing up and like you you should be like making good decisions for yourself. And like this is really like, I mean, it's it's when like things like you're not a kid anymore. You kind of have to start making like adult decisions. It really determines a lot of your life. So if you're doing it all wrong if you're just like a mess that's not good it will delay you it will delay where you want to go do you want to get married do you want to have kids do you want to have like a successful career what do you want to do with your life like all of that is kind of determined in those like in those years you know what i'm saying or, or i should say it starts to it's not like a make or break type thing um but those are important years right so I was just kind of like flushing them down the tubes which is what a lot of us did right like because we're just kind of holding on to that party life not everybody some people grew up but some people like from where I'm from some people will not let it go will not let that party life go even though it is very destructive so that's what I want to do I want to call out the destruction and give God glory for ripping me out of there because that's really what happened to me I was just living this life um that like and I was like really heartbroken I remember like during that time going through a lot of really hard stuff um and seeing some successes too like from like the worldly perspective like I bought a house I bought an investment property um I was seeing a lot of success in my business um but I was like hurting like I was missing something there was a void in me and um that's really like what like led me to God. This is so interesting. So I'm going to get more, more into the details. Um, okay. So in 20, just to, so hopefully I painted the picture pretty well of like what my life was like, like I was like a vain 
party girl, if you will, but inside I like really didn't like it. But on the outside, that's what I was, I was doing. I was playing this role. Um, and so in 2019, a seemingly normal day. Well, let me explain this. So in 2018, I moved out of my parents' house. I bought a house, an investment property in the Kensington section of Philadelphia, which is like one of the like heroin capitals of the world. Like Kensington is scary. There's a lot going on. There was like a murder on my corner. There's a lot of drug addicts walking around like zombies. There was a couple people like pass out on my step in the mornings. Um, so I bought this house because it was in, it was a really good investment. Um, it was in like this development zone where they were gentrifying the, gentrifying gentrifying the area and um and I knew it was a good investment okay so I like got my best friend on board I'm like let's do this thing I, I really wanted to be a real estate investor so this was like in like 20 I started this this is like so interesting those years were so interesting um I always say that so interesting but I wanted to be a real estate investor. I had like a big girl job in real estate, but I wanted to invest, okay? So I like pitched the idea to my best friend. She's like totally on board. We invest in this house and then we were gonna live there for a year. We ended up living there a little longer than that, but it was really hard. It was hard, like it was like scary and um, cause it was in the hood. I didn't have a car, we were sharing a car because my car was a 95 Mercury Grand Marquis and it was big old hoopty boat and i didn't want to bring it to kensington because the streets were so small <coughs> the streets were so small and i didn't want it to get sideswiped so i shared a car with my bestie um who lived with me we bought the house together and this this whole time is really like pivotal okay so this is like where like this is yeah this is like a pivotal time okay so bought the house in 2018 um started a couple businesses in 2018 then worked with a network marketing company and also a started a clothing brand in 2018 and then so a whole year later summer 2019 so we're kind of we're living in this house in philly i'm like you know like we're like growing out of some old stuff growing into some new stuff like we just it felt like we were like growing up a little bit like it wasn't the same old stuff from high school. We're like going to like cool parties and like experiencing different things and whatever. So it like looked good on the outside, right? This is where like, I didn't, until I looked back, I realized like how just like the life I was living was so, so interesting. Like, so it was so destructive. You can only see that in retrospect. Okay, so, um, then 2019 um so during this time like a lot of things were like coming out like i was like i mean like i said i was heartbroken i was like seeking seeking to fill like this void in my heart with like other things like like you know the typical like like i said like drinking drugs um but also like new age like dabbling in new age